commentary breakdowns here. First one, this was sent to us by a viewer. This is a karate guy versus a boxer. So if you notice, the boxer is not a kickboxer, straight up boxer. Karate guy, of course his punches are weak, but he's got the kicking advantage, right? And the boxer guy knows that the karate guy's punching is not that good. So he just has to watch for the kicks and use head movement to dodge the punches. So karate guy just needs to, ooh, it looks like that hurt him. You just have to be careful. Your kicks have to be very fast because if you are not fast with the kicks, he'll come in with the punches. This is so interesting. You see that? You see that? You throw a spin kick, you turn your back, he'll get you. Karate guy's punches can't do anything, man. The boxer's like, I ain't afraid of your punches. I have to just watch for your kicks. Look at that. You see that? I would throw more of those front kicks. If I were the karate guy, throw more of those front kicks. Yeah, like that too. He can't use his legs to kick, so either chop at his legs or throw a front kick. So guys, you guys can watch the full video. I just watched a little bit of it for fair use purposes, but I will link you the full video so you guys can watch this. Now we're going to get really interesting. So this is our viewer. Our viewer did Kung Fu Xing Yi, and he's the guy in black. So Xing Yi guy, he's taking place in a Muay Thai tournament. Muay Thai guy is his opponent in blue. So let's see if we see some Xing Yi. Um, great kicks, great checks. Oh, great. I see some Kung Fu. Dude, all right. Our viewer is awesome. Um, you don't see him revert to kind of traditional kickboxing. He is definitely using some Kung Fu in this. But I just am a little worried also because, you know, he's in a Muay Thai tournament. Man, these guys are no joke. So, our viewer is kind of, um, he's Southpaw. His Muay Thai opponent is Orthodox. Usually Southpaws have a better time dealing with orthodox fighters. Ouch, be careful, be careful as kicks. Oh yeah, again, be careful as kicks, man. So, our viewer, according to what he wrote me on Instagram, he trained in Hebei Xin Yichun. So, this is a second Muay Thai competition. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> I think a Tai Chi master put a spell on me. Oh, it's on the ground. So, no ground and pound. Ouch, I just hurt my hurt my ribs sneezing. Um, I think our viewer has the reach advantage. Oh, see him trying to load up on some fast punches. So, one thing that I think can benefit our viewer a lot is he needs to engage and disengage. He, he's trying to work the angles a little, but I would just, um, you know, you have to step better, in my opinion. When you're attacking, you have to step better. Don't just think going in and going out. Think angles. Ouch. Oof. I like that this is not in a ring or in a cage. It's kind of in a flat mat area. Anyways, so I think that was the end of that round, they're going to go for another round. Let's watch it all, man. Let's watch it all. Might as well. So, here they go. Look at how they touch gloves. Kind of more like a high five. Oh, viewer, man. You got to be careful. So, another thing to uh, remember, guys. For those of you watching, look at the center line. And make sure to... Oh, be careful. The Muay Thai plum. You got to move your head off center line, right? So move your head off center line. Oh, don't do that. Don't look down. You're, you're asking to get uppercut or need. Another thing, I think this viewer with his reach advantage, throw more front kicks, throw more push kicks, teeps as they say in Muay Thai. See, he's got low kicks and high kicks, like straight kicks, right? Use some of that. <laughs> Look at him running around. Oh, that's pretty good. Get back into the center of the ring.
Hmm. You should use some of your low kicks kick. Um, she has a shovel kick too. Oh, ow. Uh oh. Hmm. Yeah, if you're a much taller guy than your opponent, he's probably going to kick at your legs, right? There's a big target. Your legs are long. Hmm. I like the show of respect, though. Oof. What's weird is that our viewer is Southpaw, but he's not dominating the Orthodox fighter. I think part of it is a little bit of timidity. That he's a little timid, right? He's not willing to engage. I mean, this is a second fight. I'm not talk. I'm not saying this like this is not criticism. It just, you know, you learn. But this is so interesting. I mean, big big shout out to the viewer for sending this to us. I definitely applaud you for trying to apply some of your kung fu. I see you, you know, doing certain things, right? But I think um, condition your body a little more. Um, have a little bit more power in your punches and then work the angles, man. Work the angles of attack, work the angles of retreat, work the head movement too. Because, you know, it's great to see you try to apply some of your Kung Fu. But if you're fighting a Muay Thai trained guy, he's very well conditioned. So all your hits have to have a lot of power. And learn to check kicks better because you're such a tall guy. I mean... At least compared to this person, you just it's just easier to kick at your legs than let's say kick at your head, right? Your head's so high up there. So learn to check kicks. Okay, guys. Next up, we have a viewer. I'm going to stop this. This viewer um, is the boxer. He's fighting a guy who's um, Bagua. And the guy's done karate too. So this looks like it's in a ring. And I think there's some clinching allowed, but it gets broken up after a while. So the Bagua guy, ooh, open palm strikes, interesting. And our um, our man here, um, the guy um, in the white shirt is our viewer. He is using basically only boxing. I don't see him throwing any kicks, interesting. So we've had two videos already where it's just um, boxers not even trying to kick, boxers just boxing. And if this were Muay Thai or MMA trained, they would deal with that clinch much better when they get tied up like that. Okay, so interesting. Our Bagua person again elects to throw open hand strikes. Ooh, and knees, man. Ooh, some a little bit dirty boxing going on. Attacking the ribs, good, right? This might end up taken down. Not a very, um, not a very organized brawl, but at least they're testing their abilities and it's kind of in a ring. It's in like a kind of ring, kind of mat area, kind of funny. I also love that the Bagua guy has to stick to the, um, his like traditional Chinese clothing, right? He's like, um, I'll, I'll just be. As authentic as I can. <laughs> Our Bagua guy. I see some open hand strikes. But I don't see. Very. Much attempts at trying to trap. He goes in and clinches. But I don't. Oh. He keeps eating those. Hooks man. Hmm. Not what I was expecting. Um, You guys can watch the rest of this. Um. Bagua guy's name is Dave Harris. Our viewer is Kevin Thomas. So now we have a viewer. I'm going to look at two of his fights. Um, he does Kempo Shotokan. And he's later branched out into MMA. Um, he's fighting an Okinawa karate guy. So our viewer is the bigger dude. This is a point fighting system. So point fighting. Whoever gets the cleaner hit. So... Shotokan versus Okinawa Karate. For those of you who do the styles of karate, do you see differences between the Shotokan and the Okinawan? 
Let me jump to the second match. This is Kempo versus Jiu-Jitsu. I don't know what kind of Jiu-Jitsu, but um, our viewer, big guy, a green belt at this time in Kempo, and his opponent is taller in Jiu-Jitsu. So again, they're in a mat area. This is at a competition. Um, this is taking place in Nevada, according to the description. And here they go. Let's see if this is point fighting or is this is kind of more MMA rules. The jiu-jitsu guy, I'm assuming, is going to try to go in, right? Hmm. Jiu-jitsu guy definitely is not that good a striker. Yeah, this doesn't look like a point fighting system. Oh, be careful, viewer. Careful, viewer. Oh, you're going to try to... Oh, I, our viewer was trying to take him to the ground. Okay, all right. Okay. You're confident in your grappling abilities, huh? Great punch. Great back fist, man. All right. A little bit of... I don't know what's going on there, but... Hmm. Sidekick. Dude, the jiu-jitsu guy needs to start grappling. His strikes are very bad. And his shirt is too short. Ooh, to body shots, man. Our viewer got to be careful. Oh, our viewer's going to try to... Oh, great sprawl. Our viewer's trying to take him down. Okay. Oh, whoa. Attempted back take right there. He, he... Oh, no. Oh. Okay, his head... The fact that his um, headgear fell off saved him. <laughs> oh, this is pretty cool, guys. Not what I was expecting. But this is pretty awesome. All right, come on. Viewer, we're rooting for you. You seem to, I mean, Kempo does train some grappling, right? So you seem to have a little bit of that. That was kind of low, man. He he came in, I believe he came in to touch your glove. You just kicked at him. But again, you know, he, he's got to be prepared too, right? So don't fault you too much. Adrenaline's pumping. By the way, the shaky camera's giving me a headache, man. Whoever filmed this needs to get fired. So... Standing count? Was that a standing count or something? I don't know. But there you go. There you go. Single leg, single leg. Put other. Oh, oh, I was gonna say put the put the leg between your legs. Oh no! You got your side taken. You got your side taken. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, you north south position. Oh, you got him mounted. Okay, this guy is not a high level jujitsu dude at all. <laughs> and his shirt's still too short, man. What is this? <laughs> Uh, wow, this is kind of a mixed bag, man. Not what I was expecting. The jujitsu guy cannot strike to save his life, and he's not really that good at grappling. Are you sure he's really a jujitsu guy? <laughs> Looks like he hit our viewer. I mean, our viewer hit the jujitsu guy in the face. He's wearing a U.S. Marine Corps shirt, too. The guy, his opponent. All right, guys, I'm going to stop here. You guys can watch the rest of it. Um, big shout out to the viewer who sent this to us. Keep practicing. Keep sparring. Keep sending us good clips, man. Guys, which one was your favorite? Did you like the Shotokan versus the Okinawa? Did you like the boxing versus the Bagua? Did you like the Muay Thai versus the Singi? Did you like the boxing versus the karate? What do you guys think, man? Fight commentary breakdowns out. Boom.